если вдруг загубить. Of gamma 
So this is the set of labels of gamma. Uh, C on gamma of, uh, of C. Well, in fact, this is the permutation group induced by the stabilizer on the neighborhood. So I think this is basically about as a group is isomorphic to G of S once and all with the X intersection of G of U for all U. Oh, uh, I should put in C. 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 So as a group, it is the quotient of the stabilizer. So you stabilize this vector Z, and then it's the state of the gamma of Z. And so this is the combination law. Uh, so, when I write the, say, 
permitted to go by the to call a group and the sect permitted as and so this is as free in the natural action on a free point. And K is in that L three two. This is also G L three two. So this will be uh, the atom of the group of three dimensional relative space over a field of two elements. And this is action on seven points on <coughs> seven elements, one points. So adjective points and points on the underlying relative space. So this <coughs> Uh, I put here to the telegraph 
three, seven. So basically take a tiny block, a little which uh, whose vertices are sequences of length seven or from alphabet from three of, of three letters, and then you have S3 acting on the letters, and then you have but on the seven vertices you don't allow the whole symmetry but only L32. So this group here uh, will be <laughs> right. So the group here will be actually S3 a brief point of L32 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 how to say L32 or less yeah. I don't know if this is really mm. but from this movie I understand it yeah? so that they have a new this say oh of course, this is a small new child. I'm sure you want just to be two of you as a family. And then the rest will say, or less. <laughs> anyway, so I say this is the full automatic group of the family graph. But you can take a small one, and in fact, you can tell a small subgroup. Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, right, and then for each of these graphs, I can draw you a diagram. So what will be the diagram? The diagram will be in, <coughs> just for every type of vertices. Uh, I will reserve a node. Uh, I don't know, so in this case, this would be this diagram, and here it will say uh, H33. And I think this is the idea is that if you fix these three points, which is a line in the projective plane, uh, they just allow to change the, your variable just inside these lines. Uh, anyway, so this example uh, really comes to an important uh, uh, um, idea that uh, in this graph we have so-called lines. Uh, there is another type of subgraph, this is the type of subgraph which corresponds to the line. So if you have a vertex of L32 type, then locally on, on the neighborhood there is a projective plane of L2, and this projective plane structure is supported, uh, supported by a family of subgraphs in the whole graph, which are called lines. So let me start to well, explain uh, what are lines. And I, I think I will um, first give a, a definition. So we assume that we accept everything uh, here.
Okay, so what is the definition? So, <coughs> a line or Okay, so a line is a subgraph. Well, oh, I call it in the graph, which is which is a uh, I would say S three S three uh, some graph. Well, this is uh, to uh, to the stabilize stabilize on this side. Uh, so we have this uh, some graph and uh, it is as free as free. So it's a bipartite uh, some graph uh, with all vertices of vertices free. Uh, right. <coughs> well, this is first property. The, the second is the following. You just need some more attention. So, if y is a uh, uh, I would say L32 values. Uh, so, which means that the C of y. For the arm of y is either one or two. So we have two types of vertices. Action. 
Uh, so I just put the question. So uh, you know, it depends on your so experience, uh, how you uh, know this. So is writing hours instead of nine minutes, and they will never run out of space. <laughs> Uh, so I have this set formula uh, of size 7, which is a set of courses. Anyway, so I have the rule L32. What you can see is an absolute rule absolute on, this, on this set formula. In fact, this is the set of points of projective play. So we built it as a projective play. But when somehow we left the room, this someone arranged this projective play, and so the only thing left is just the action. So how we reconcile that, that the, the projective play structure? Uh, you know, is there any suggestion? Or, or? Say, yeah, so I say, all right, so I have a point, but I have this point, and that point, and then from the projective plane, there is a unique line passing for the other. Then what do you say? You call this group X, I don't know, call this group X, and then this will be X and the Y, and you can say that, uh, okay, capital X, X of X, you just said, so I have to like these two points, which is the nature of this action is that there is exactly one more point which is fixed by this circular. So this will be the point in C. This is how the action works, yeah? And then this will be the line. I know this is very easy to observation, but it is laid down uh, under the whole Fellowes principle. How you Reconstruct the geometry just from the action. Uh, <clears throat> okay, good. So we uh, we uh, accomplished a little bit. Think I will allow allow to erase. Example number one, uh, I don't know, 
it is not uh, really sort of typical uh, for, for our particular situation of L32, uh, L32 as free action. Mm -hmm. so you can put any two permutation loops here. So the lines, in fact, exist in this case, but mm, they're not so uh, essential. So maybe I will take the second example. The play uh, will be more sort of visible and important. So my next example will be the following. The graph gamma will be <coughs> well, this is the point graph, point graph. Oh, oh. <coughs> oh, let me just do it. The graph of one and two dimensional subspaces of uh, four dimensional two spaces. Uh, so we take a four dimensional space or a field of two elements. So we make it projected so that we uh, in this case we just remove <coughs> uh, the vertices uh, remove the zero vectors, and then we will have the following graph, uh, well, diagram associated to this. Uh, this will be, uh, yes, so, so this will be points, and the point is actually two vertices, vertices, and its language of diagrams and geometries are uh, very convenient. Uh, I don't have time or desire to introduce the notation, but they say L32 is really set from this part of the diagram. This is the L32 part. Uh, and these are lines, and these are the same as, as three vertices. And we know that every line is going to have, well, every line is a two dimensional subspace, and two dimensional subspace contains three one dimensional subspaces. Right. And these are planes. These are planes. Planes in, in this sense, in the sense of subgraphs, are introduced here, but it is all the just three dimensional subspaces in the vector space of four dimensions. Uh, so they play a uh, very important uh, measure of role. So let me just carry on an example three. Oh. Right, so, so this group is in fact L3, the L4 2. Uh, the group of what uh, you know, linear transformation. And uh, you see, which is also known as A, A as the outline group on A points. And in fact, there is um, an exceptional, uh, also an exceptional fact, flat transitive subgroup. Or A7. So you see, if in A7, uh, well, in, in A8, you take some group A7, then it acts all the flat transitive on this, um, on this geometry. And give another example of, of S3 L32 graph. Uh, okay, and then uh, the second page, I will start with the group. So my group will be SP6 of 2. So I say six dimensional symplectic space of all the field of two elements. 
And then, well, I'm a Saturday dad, you know. So this dad, you know, will start with, well, three, two, and one dimensional. This is dimensional, uh, totally singular. Some spaces. Right. So in this case, this node would correspond to the points. So the points will be maximal to the isotopic such spaces. And lines will be pre maximal or two dimensional isotopic such spaces, singular such spaces. Right. And then planes which correspond to one dimensional such spaces. And in terms of all the, all the graph, uh, well, they will exceed uh, this picture. So, uh, I'm going to draw the diagram of the graph, which is a distance transitive graph. And here it sits gone, and then well, the lines will be the ones in this graph. Uh, okay, so I get the definition of lines and hmm, right. Uh, Uh, 
which actually says the following, that if you take an age, all these, all these love, so if you take an age, all these love, and then you take the following subgroup, uh, you take the intersection of she or you, all you are, uh, say you, adjusted to X. So you take, you take X, you take all the vertices adjusted to X, well, including Y, and you fix them. And you fix them. Then you take the following, you take all the angles for Y, uh, well, including X, and then you fix them as well. So you intercept it from the shear of B for all of the incidents to Y. So you take this subgroup. So it basically the kernel of all of this action. So this is, well, this is a pickle. A pickle. This is a consequence of the Thompson-Weiss theorem, and in fact, in our situation, P is equal to 2. So this is a, a 2 group in, in our case. And, well, the reason for this is, uh, in fact, this L3-2 and S3 are both down in the time table. So let's uh, why this Thompson. applies. <laughs> okay, and then, and then how, basically, how you construct, uh, how you construct, <coughs> hmm. how you construct the plane. Okay, so let's try to draw a values. So this will be, take X, so X will be a line, so this will be a radius of radius 3. Then each of these radiuses is a point, so in fact it is uh, of length 7. So right? so these are neighbors of these two radiuses. Uh, then how you proceed? First, you take a line in the neighborhood of y1, you take a line here. And so then you include it into this subgraph, which is a plane. You include it in the side. And but when if you stabilize this line, there is another line that will be stabilized in the neighborhood of this vector. This is basically comes from the Thompson Villain the theorem, where they say that if you take y1 and y2, then you have L32 acting on the neighborhood of y1 and L32 acting on the neighborhood of y2. But I think they can't be independent. So what are they sort of share in the two group? So <coughs> Well, when you stabilize a line here, you will also stabilize a line on the other side. Yeah. So that's how you extend this, uh, this line from one vertex to the neighbor. And then what you proceed is you carry on. So you have a neighbor of one vertex, and you know how to shift it to the neighbor to the neighborhood or the neighbor. Right. And then you take it on to the start this, uh, to the start this flag. Uh, what can go wrong is that if you take a cycle and arrive to one vertex on one side and the other side, the plane may be different because of the cycle. And then you want to avoid this, uh, this will be avoided. Yes, gamma is a tree if you just exclude this possibility that you arrive to one vertex. So basically, this comes in 
as an independent uh, construction. Uh, so this plan, uh, plan two things, so that I, I always can, uh, can draw uh, the diagram uh, as in this case. So then what I only need to do is to carry on this example. So I have this uh, example is just of the heaven graph is the most easiest, but it's not an essential way because it is not sort of too local and it is applied to any to any presentation. Then you have this diagram and people who are familiar with the groups of retires really notice this is a uh, thinking diagram of time. Uh, of time A, A2. Oh, A3. And then this will be B3 or C3. There's a dependent with those characteristics. Two. And then you have another diagram, and this will be, I think this will be G2. So, tilt, this is extended uh, diagram, uh, and it corresponds to the uh, example uh, it comes to be G2 of 3. This is the. Yes. <laughs> G2 of 3. So, this uh, acts on the geometry. We diagram. So this is geometry. This is not a building, but an exceptional action of G two or three. And this is very interesting and important example. So I call this example four. Um, right. Um, right. And then example five. Uh, uh, you uh, correspond, this is the tilde, tilde uh, uh, diagram, and this is one to M24 and uh, head. Uh, there are two tilde diagrams, and the German is active on all this and related to uh, spiraling goal. Uh, so there are quite a few motivations for studying all this healthy tool as four graph. And then well it's originally it's free, can be extended by any integer n. This will be included in the time tool. Uh, so what I would like to say, so what happens is that classical group symplectic linear uh, appear as, well, as buildings in, in this usual way. Uh, still you can keep this diagram as buildings of FI time and take some exceptional groups. So this G203 or it's not a style group, but it exhibits the best-side behavior, so to say. But also you can extend this diagram to tilde and obtain a spiral goals including health and not health and medical. So the goal is how to build a uniform theory for uh, all of this. Uh, this is partial uh, result uh, in this direction in able to characterize this M24 and how the geometry was taken by the shape of Prego, by the issue and you Morton and myself. Uh, it turns out that there is, well, with this construction, we really obtain another geometry related to alphabet, well, this is realized in A6. And this is 
This is a video about a play. I think this is something like L32 or L32, but it's not such a So let's uh, jump to this. Uh, uh, so Perfect case. In fact, yeah. It's two. L2 or two. And yeah, so in, in fact, this is all goes from Sims conjecture, which in, involves S3. And then S3 can be viewed in at least three different ways as a symmetric group, as a dihedral group, as, as a linear group. And all three directions lead to, to different theories. And in this context, this S3 is viewed as L3 2, L22. Yeah, and this is, I think, the most fruitful way of looking at this. Yeah. So, in general, would you have an LN of 2 and an LN minus 1 of 2? Uh, I think that in the most general case, which was included, they call locally projective graph. So you can take L and Q, uh, L and Q and L and R, where P and R are two prime powers, not necessarily all the same power, and see what happens. But I think this, the interesting case will happen when the prime are the same. Uh, Boy. Any other questions? 